Miss Savannah Wilkes. My mom had Huntington's disease for 11 years um, and her dad had it. It's been in our family for as long as I can remember. So I grew up knowing what Huntington's disease was. I grew up knowing that like her siblings and that she would eventually get tested. She ended up testing positive in her early 40s. So I was a young teenager um, and watched her kind of go through that whole HD process. I know it's different for everyone, but it was really difficult on our family. My mom was like, the light of like our family. She was always bubbly, happy, had the best like positive attitude. So watching her go through that, it really hit her mentally. Um, she struggled with depression and just going in and outs of bouts of depression with Huntington's and like feeling that progression happen over the years. And ultimately it ended up to where she became so depressed, she ended up taking her own life. And that was devastating on our family. That was three years ago. Um, and so the HD community has been like my saving grace because I've found people who understand what Huntington's disease is and I've learned how important it is to like connect. I didn't actually connect with the HD community until after my mom passed away um, because I didn't think that because I wasn't struggling with Huntington's that I would like connect with that community, but I found people were so willing to just reach out and welcome me with open arms. And it helped me so much to be able to find the resources that I needed when I went through the testing process myself um, and the same for my brother. So that is my connection to HD. I think it's extremely important for people to get involved um, with fundraising and with the HD community and, and honestly in any way they can to get plugged in, especially if you're dealing with Huntington's disease in your family. And even if you're not, like helping with this is what we all need as a community because the more people I run into and meet, I find out people have no idea what Huntington's disease is. So I've made it my mission to, I want everyone in my circle to know what it is and I want them to talk about it with other people as well because if we don't have awareness for this disease, we're not gonna be able to raise the funds that we need to in order to find a cure. Um, I know that for me personally, my brother tested positive for Huntington's disease and I tested negative. So that was really difficult on our family after going through everything that we did and so, my goal is to do everything that I can to make sure that he has the best quality of life. And, you know, we're both so hopeful that we're going to get more research going so that he can have a better quality of life. Um, he's so young, he's only in his thirties right now, and he's already starting to develop some symptoms. And so the more research we can get done, the more funds we can raise, that is how we're gonna be able to stop HD in its tracks. you are like me and you have Huntington's disease in your family, maybe you just found out about it or maybe it's been something you've known about your whole life and you're scared to find out more, get plugged into a community. Find people who are like you and connect with somebody that you can relate to who's going through something similar to you because without support, you're going to end up feeling so isolated and alone. And in my experience with suicide being in my family because of mental illness and because of Huntington's disease, the number one thing I can say is that you need community. You need support. Um, you have to plug into that in order to be able to get through your days because if you don't have that, you're going to be in a really dark place. So if there's anything I can say, it's don't be afraid to reach out. The HD community is so supportive. They're all right in the same boat as you are. And so be willing to share your story, be willing to advocate for this disease. And that is going to help to fill you up so much. Um, I know that it has for me.